Cover Game New Gear podcast, oh, YCS shit. Sydney special 2020. <laughs> special. So this, we're mid, we're mid. Uh, this is the end of day one, mid uh, tournament. Day two is you know tomorrow. Um, let's let's now let's talk to some let's talk to some people that made day two. Who do Jay. I start with? Jay. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Tom, Tom did so poorly he's not even on the podcast. <laughs> He'll turn up eventually. He'll walk in. Andrew, how was this one? Fantastic. Finished X1 on day one. So, feels good. And what do you play? Thunder. Nice, nice. Um, Lachlan. Uh, finished X2 day one with... Who's an issue? Dino Mist. Um, I lost to one... Oh, Scrapple Hurts. And Andrew. Yeah. <laughs> in round seven. On the feature match on the last match of the both, day. Both X1 going into round seven. And we I, I saw the thing pop up. Luckily, F, I was like, no. I saw Andrew. And I knew there were so few of us at X1 that I was like, this is highly likely mm. our Lachlan. Ridiculous. So, but... Yeah. Rep the channel. Yeah, we had a Cowboy for Game fucking feature match. Yeah, like, true. Cowboy actual, yeah, true. Yeah. I mean, like... And there was another one. Yeah. Like <laughs> Yeah, we are. Uh, we also finished X one yep. with combo with combo dragon. Yep. Before you before you mention it, if you want to know how it feels to be disgraced in a feature match where your opponent uh, is already uh, given one uh, free win, Jonah. <laughs> you want to know how it feels to be disgraced? <laughs> in... <laughs> oh, 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 no. oh no! Oh no! Cool. Oh no! All right, well, we defended that guy too. <laughs> we... I still defended. I edited that, edit that video. Um, but yes, Logan's uh, Logan's feature match. Why don't yeah, you tell us about so that? round. If you go and see the round five written coverage of the feature match, I was, uh, I was on it. It was really, I was a really awesome opportunity to be on it. And boy, did we start off well. Uh, I just didn't unside from my game beforehand, and so I literally drew my hand, played one card, drew a card, and then scooped it up because I was like, I drew system down in my main deck. <laughs> Uh, no, biggest rookie error, error, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, crazy. It's it was bad, and I was like, "Whoops!" Oh, I guess I, I guess I scooped. <laughs> and so I got like, yeah. So I scooped it up, and game two, I I'm playing Paleo, and I get to go he first. Paleo. He was X two, oh, and he's like X two now, so he's just as good as your Dynamis, mate. Um, <laughs> when his losses were, I expected it. Okay. Um, but he game two, I go first, and he Nibiru's me, but we still end up winning that game. And then game three, he Nibiru's me, and we still win that game. So after getting game loss, we still end up winning like, through a game loss and two Nibiru's. Extenders. Yeah. Ex- this deck, like, you'll see a profile of it. Yeah. <laughs> and too many extenders. It's good. Andrew is a big fan. Well, yes, it keeps pushing through everything. You, you have some response. You're like, you know what? I'll be right. And, and then you're not. <laughs> we just play through and then you and yard. Then you're not. Yeah, yeah. You play through everything and it's like, oh, by the way, just straight from hand. Yazi pop. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did you say full combo from him? <laughs> yeah. Can I speak on uh, what happened immediately after the feature match? Yeah. I leave the feature match. Wait, our uh, feature match. Our feature match. Oh, our feature, yes. Bit downtrodden. I was pretty sad because, like, I didn't get to do anything. I just lost. Off. Like that was it. It was just a really bad loss. It's yeah. like an, it's like a table five hundred loss too. Like I'd made nothing. Yeah, yeah. And yeah then, like that was a bad feature match. Yeah. <laughs> um, I said, I was like, yeah, cheers, Yao. And just didn't even look up. Yeah, <laughs> didn't even look at me. Uh, he, he was match. like, I don't I'm, know. I'm guy. sad I won the dice roll and it ended up that one sided. Like, it's like I didn't want to lose, but also like part of me did in a way just to like give that. Yeah, chance. Oh, why didn't you drop the game to him, mate? Because I'm here to win, mate. Yeah. <laughs> mate, I've anyway, only been X1 and not I'm pretty <laughs> sad after I get out. I'm sort of brooding the right word. Oh my god, hurry up. Um, <laughs> and some, like, kid walks up to me, could have been like, no more than 10, really, probably. Like, I reckon like, 12. 13, 13, 10 I reckon. to 12, I guess. And he goes, Are you Lachlan? And I was like, That's me. <laughs> he was like, I'm, I'm the guy who keeps asking for the time to stop takes on YouTube. I'm like, what? I turn around, I turn to you guys who've been making fun of me for this. <laughs> yeah, this we've been saying this is so a fake long, profile. And I was like, he's real! <laughs> he's, he's real! He's actually real. He's real! Look, yeah. everyone. Thank you very much for turning up and proving it right because he, like, it, Lachlan will screen cap your comments and go, <laughs> they, the people want it. The people want the dynamics. <laughs> I, I, I recorded it for good measure. We've got photos, we've got videos. We've got photos, we've got videos. Maybe Speaking. the videos. Yeah. Might not be Probably not. <laughs> um, but 
Yeah, so the kid like shook my hand. He was like, oh wow, like, I'm, I am the dynamist. <laughs> That's me. Do you know how inflated my ego is right now? <laughs> bro, oh, bro, he, he then pulled out his deck, had me go through it, and I was like, Shit, yeah, shit, 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 yeah. shit, shit. No, I'm joking. There was there was nothing bad in the deck. It was just like well, that's what like, was based on your old build. Yeah, yeah. It was. It, I think it actually was exactly. That's why you asked yeah. for a new build, which might yeah, be why I'm saying shit, shit, shit. But you'll get the new. You'll get the new build yeah. very soon. But, very soon. But speaking of, um, but I go through, explain the covers and everything. He has me then. He goes, "Hey, could you um, <laughs> could you sign my cards?" But I was like, is that yeah. this could not fit flat when you go <laughs> down. Do, 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 do you know what I ask you to sign cards? No, no. I had like people ask me to join like uh, back in 2017. You know, people asked me to join like Blue Eyes groups and stuff like that. Yeah. Then I was like, sure. And then I didn't. But no one asked me to do that ever again. Yeah, signing Cyberstein. Oh. Cyberstein oh. and oh. number 67 Paradise Smasher, of which. I think I might be the only person to ever write that on a deck list during a yes. And yeah, if you do see us around in our cowboy shirts um, and you're there tomorrow, feel free to ask any of us to do it. I'm pretty sure we'll be keen. And if not, we can. We should well, emphasize well, yeah, well, we'll this we'll cowboy fit yeah. game shirts, not cowboy shirts, but not dressed up. Yeah. <laughs> well, one quick other shout out as well is to uh, Paul Pelican. Yeah, yeah Paul. He came he came yeah, yeah, we got, we got a great photo. We've, we've had a few good questions from him on the Facebook, yeah. on Messenger as well. So yeah, find us on Facebook as well. We, you know, if you interact with us more on Facebook, we will try. But at the moment, yeah. <laughs> maybe we'll just stop posting the podcast. That's it, right? It's just, hmm? yeah. Maybe we'll just stop posting the podcast. Whoever moves first, yeah. Yeah. share um, around. So actually, yeah, maybe. I mean, I was thinking about sharing the feature match on the on, on the Facebook. Feature well. matches, yeah. but I couldn't. No, just these ones. Yeah, <laughs> but, yeah my after, one. after. Uh, just my one. <laughs> so yeah, so thanks, to Paul. Thanks to everyone. Like yeah, so what are the kids know? And Pat, Pat, thanks to and, Pat. And um, yeah, if anyone sees us tomorrow, feel free. Anyway, so I mean, hopefully. We're talking to you three tomorrow about your successes. Hopefully. But Jake! <laughs> <laughs> and me! Yeah. And Tom! And Tom! Alright, these yeah. two guys voluntarily took it for the team to go for the giant card tomorrow. Yeah. That's, that's yeah, how we're going to remember it. That's how we're going to say it. Yeah. Who, so who wants to go through the heart? Who wants to go through the heart? Also, that. First, me or you? Um, I activate money. <laughs> yeah, my, it's Screw a short the rules. story. I have money. Um, so, yeah, games one and two were fine, Rings. deck was performing well, and then from there things just fell apart. Just lost all consistency, opened up the same shitty hands multiple turns in a row, shit despite deck. pile shuffling every time. Yeah. This is a shit deck. You're a shit deck. Yeah, I know, but I'm F1, so... Oh my yeah. god. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Um, Ego balloons, yeah. switching dangerous heights. <laughs> this is my worst YCS... Yeah, like I've made day two, um, and yeah, just straight have it, didn't win anything. I drew one game, but oh, I probably could have won that if I tried. But it's so weird. Like this is my, this is the most positive and probably the best deck I've walked into YCS with, and then just and no, there was nothing I could really do. It very, was very insane. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was what it was. I, like, it's a cut. Math. It's math. Yeah, there's a few misplays in there. I I mean, I played uh, Dark Ruler no more with like five minutes to go. Still a little bit angry at you for that. <laughs> Look, I'm happy for you, Brad. One, they have a clock this year. They have a clock this one year. One clock on one side of the room. Yeah, if you're yeah. on the lower tables, you're yeah. fuck. Well, I wasn't Who the cares? lower tables. Yeah. If you're the lower tables, rewards, right? Yeah, rewards, yeah, rewards for me at the top tables. I, I didn't hear the. Yeah, uh, high five, <laughs> I didn't hear the time warning for that round either. So that was a bit. I don't know. What time I've warning. never no. had a time warning. I didn't no. have any. I didn't no, have any games go to time. Today, I've had one that got to two minutes before time called up. That's yeah, my worst. That was my longest. Uh, oh, yeah, every game I've played. Yeah. Shout out to my no, Draco match that was over time. in like 12 minutes. <laughs> um, Win, lose. But yeah, Win. Uh, pretty well pretty well run event, except for like the little weird break for whatever the hell was going on in there. But even Tom that, got that's, repaired. Also, that's, yeah, actually, no. also oh. that's, not, like, that's not the longest we've ever waited in that. So <laughs> no, no, not at all. And every, you, have to, you used to have to wait oh, yeah, that long did a magic trick. for nothing. Yeah. yeah. A shout out to the YCS team. Like it's been running. It ran pretty They've done really well today. today. Uh, 750 there was, there was people there was without no, a mat too. There was no extra stuff that happened, but it's gone smooth. And Benny Man's made a good uh, comment. He said because we don't have the feature like properly screened and interviews and all that shit, that is probably a very large contributing factor to the speed and the um, 
like con- continuity that came. Yeah, but I really wanted to get interviewed. <laughs> yeah, this was I still one year. This yeah, is the I'm, one year I'm about the fucking stream. Stream oh, the freaking stream, silly sausage. Stream is one thing. <laughs> um, obviously, <laughs> when they started the tournament as well, uh, they announced that. Yeah, so uh, we we already knew and we've already bitched plenty on this podcast about no mats. So yeah, no mats did lead to us only having about seven hundred people. Seven fifty. Seven fifty. Our boys want mats, so that's why we're going. For it's top still top. not that bad. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's, I just it's want to be the first person to top with Dynamics. What one hundred less than last year? I thought, no, last year we cracked a thousand. Uh, yeah. No. Did we? No. No, it was like 800 last year. No. It was, was mid it, 800s, possibly 9. I think it was about 900, yeah. Wait, what was... What, that was what, and it was 750 today. The only time we've ever got to 1,000 plus is the 175th. Yeah, it was 2017. It's oh. exactly 750, by the way. I thought last Before year was, I thought last year was another 1,000. It was like, oh, well, that's why we, we left Melbourne, because Melbourne was only... Melbourne was like Melbourne 600. Melbourne was like 600, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Melbourne was 5. And it was also a spiral T0 format. That was fucking gross. Maybe um, Gold Coast bomb. can get one now. But anyway, yeah. so yeah, no no play mat, which, I mean, brings us into line, but then they've also uh, announced that our Nationals is no more. And that, that, that also brings us into line with the rest of... Um, with the other side of the world, not so much Europe. So I don't know what they're going to do with um, European Nationals and if that's going to be a thing. We but, were waiting. We, they were like... We're gonna let you know what you get instead of the mats, and it was like, no, you don't get mat or nat. Oh, uh, <laughs> get mat or no mats, no nats. Nah, but I, I'm no cocoa mats. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. Hopefully, these uh, state-based uh, tournaments that qualify for us for Oceanics, which will be in New Zealand for us. Um, states? It, uh, they're called it states. In New Zealand. They there we go. They go into the W way we go. So yeah, yeah, so yeah, so I have I, they they, they, they <laughs> sort of yes. have paid accommodation and travel, but also which is yeah. Um but we'll see if the pricing and structure that I what well, we'll see. Super, we'll see super, yeah. super super price cards was the winner. Not yeah, big, not the big. specific wording was similar price structure. Yeah, so I like, I'm wondering if mats and deck boxes is gonna be a part of that or is it just gonna be in probably. Probably. They'll probably still say regional of them. Will it be top sixty four like for like Nats as well, but not so much for Nats. Um, yes, I mean that's pretty much everything from day one. Logan was just hiding his phone to play eight ball. <laughs> uh, there's nothing much else I can think of. Well, we there was no hiding there. Oh, no no you were like the. At the end of the day, any tournament that ends and it's still daylight is a good tournament in my opinion. Oh, yeah, that's it is daylight saving. <laughs> No, uh, every other YCS has finished it in, the, in dark. the dark. Yeah, we finished at 7.30 easily. 2017, I walked out of my last match at 10.30. All the restaurants were shut. There was no way to yeah, get food. I remember that. That was fuck. We had a dominate. It was, like, was it? Yeah. We had a dominate. That was when I was staying with Danny and James, so you wouldn't have known about that. I was oh, one of the only I I was so drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Very good note to leave it. Speaking yeah, of drinks. Let's go. All right. Dun, 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 dun. Oh! So, it's post YCS. Sydney, yes. 2020. Um, sorry we didn't get this um, out on the Sunday night. Sunday night. Yeah. It kind of all ended up in um, people celebrating uh, friend slash enemy of the show, Joshua Glenn. <laughs> <laughs> um, you may have heard us uh, rant about his uh, insane luck and just deck and being able to top and every locals with salad. Um, he went and top 32 YCS yeah, Sydney with salad. Actually, top three... <laughs> He, um, oh yes, yeah, so yeah, he yeah. literally came third in Swifts, and then uh, top sixteen. Top sixteen, yeah, actually, yeah, yes. he came to top sixteen. Yeah, really good. Um, congratulations to him. Now let's never speak as Salomon Great again, <laughs> or him. I no, hope, I'm sure we'll mention him. I hope because of him and that other guy, Sal gets hit more. Yeah, I would laugh pretty hard, and I'd be like. Josh, this is your fault. You did this. Well, if he won, like that was the thing of up there's like, what was the cost, Josh, of winning? Because <laughs> maybe that's why he threw his game. Because <laughs> he would. Well, I mean, maybe now they just hit Spinny to one rather than bend it or outright. Spinny's like one card full combo. No, you just normal summon it. It's pretty close. <laughs> it's it might like as one, well. Be. Yeah, it's provided one. you open, open both the traps as well. Like it is not one card combo. It yeah, but it's card, a salad deck. It's one card Sunlight Wolf. Sunlight Wolf is not the heart and soul it's of the It's one deck. card Sunlight Wolf Reincarnation Link to Summon. As he said himself, Sunlight Wolf should be bad. No, he, he, he said it doesn't matter. Don't need it. And then when I tried to call him out on that when, when he was playing it. So our locals tell us we're doing a meme, a meme fest. Yeah, but then people brought just their decks that they were playing a YCS. So, so, I mean, I don't think he has any other decks, so... I did not bring my deck that I played at YCS. Yeah, well, you and... I'm um, sorry, not you. Josh and 
Logan both just brought their YCS decks. If there was a time to do it, it would have been this time. Also, Andrew didn't bring a fucking meme deck. Necros is good. It's his meme. It's not funny. I'm not laughing. Prank Kids is good. That's acceptable, because Prank Kids are shit. I said they're cool. Not However, shit. I played Dynamis Mech Knight. <laughs> it was so bad. And the only time it opened well was against tr pure trick stars. Oh, actually, I forgot. Last time we ch checked in with you, um, so all the other guys crashed out um, before uh, the last round. Mm. Oh, no, well, someone made it to the last round, right? On X1. X2, sorry. Uh, I think that may have been Andrew. No. Yeah. No? Andrew went in the ninth round. Okay. Uh, no one bubbled. Oh, friend of the... No. <laughs> 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 well, no never mind. Um, but yeah, so otherwise, I mean, everyone, I, you guys make a day too. I still, I still, I rate that pretty hard. I think it's most impressive that I did it. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, because you're so, I'm not joking. Like, I'm not joking. I do legitimately have that belief. So, speaking. It was harder oh. for me to top than anyone else there. Oh, yes, Sydney. The top 32 decks were 19 Sky Striker Orcust, 4 Salad, T1. 2 Pendulum, 1 Thunder Dragon, 1 Infernoid, 1 Sky Striker Chu Draco, 1 Pure Sky Striker, 1 Spiral Orcust, 1 World Chalice, and 1 Altergeist. So. That's a bit all over the shop, so I'm going to say like those other decks are mainly geared to be anti... They'd be like more anti-meta builds, yeah. Or they didn't face any Orcus Man, in yeah. the day. <laughs> well, that's that's the case for Thunder Dragon. Through the 10 rounds of Swiss, it did not face one single Orcus deck. And I versed two people that made top 32 here. Well, that's pretty good. Um, so yeah, that's heavy representation, and we're gonna ban this due any second now. We are we are one day into no sooner than. There were slight delays on the ban list updating today, and everyone was losing their mind. Yeah, like no sooner than does give them the space to do it, but. I mean, I mean the very first time they did no sooner than it was like a solid month and a half before we actually got the list. My God, they're they're jerks. But, uh, I mean, I assume it's going to come out later this week. There's no way they can continue this format on like this shit fight for the rest of it. Surely. No, then True Draco and Otogos. They deserve to die, Jake. They deserve to die. This is a tier zero format. It no, it is not. This I, is one of... No. That... Yeah. 19 tops. No. So, okay, tier 19 zero. tops. And, tier zero. And I was seeing a lot of conjecture around that. It's close to whatever weird arbitrary amount of 65% that defines tier zero. It does. 65%, that's fucking bullshit. No. No. No, that's... No, no, no. That's not... I, that's I, just over half of tops. That's like... No, that's that not could, just over half. No, that's 65%. Salomon Great can beat or Orca. Like, Orca. So I would say Salomon in like tier 1.5, tier 2. While Orcus is tier one, tier yes. zero, no, no, hundred percent, no, tiers. That's thing, tiers. Calling this tier to zero, win any event, what, you have to no. be playing this. No, no. Salad came second. Oh, by the way, Sky Shark I said Orcus. win. It was close to winning. All it, it takes is win. All it takes is a fucking brick. They, the, the guy didn't brick. No one in the last match bricked. They just won. No, because Orcus Sky Striker is tier zero. No. No, that's it. And that's it. And if people calling it T zero are complete. This is nowhere near Pepe. This is nowhere near Dad. This is nowhere near like the weird like uh, All six. All it seven. is is off turn interaction that can play in multiple ways. That's the thing that kills it, right? Is that it's not just that they have like two negates. It's that that they can quick link someone into anything, which can be uh, longer Izu to send something. It can be Unicorn to spin something. It can be Zero Boris to blow up the field. Yeah. That's the thing that's killing it. And Let's be real. Any deck that can summon off turn can do that. I was thinking it was. It just so happens to be Orcus. Yeah, if they don't touch um, like Gizmek and or like Zeroboros will have to be dealt with eventually in the long run. I don't think they're going to get rid of them right now. It needs to be banned. Yeah, I agree. This deck yeah. needs to go because it is tier zero. No. No, that's it. That's it is. And regardless of what we believe here at this table... The majority of players out there agree that it is tier zero. No, that's it, and that's and that and when people say that, I kind of get a bit shittier and go, okay, if you think it's that bad, no, fuck you, let's stick with it, because what? No, because you don't. We've know had this meta for a year, a year. Do you know so many people are bored of this? No, we haven't had Orcus for a year. Definitely, we've not. had Orcus for as long. This, as we've the striker had bullshit we've had for a Thunder year. Thunder Dragon. 
Yeah, but they came out in the beca- same set. However, Orchest only became good <laughs> once Dingarizu and the Counter Trap came out. Before that, they were nothing. They were bo- okay. They were- We've had this format for ten months. No, not even ten months. It's maybe eight. It's since it's since August, eight, isn't it? Eight is too much. Yes, and that's okay, and that's the thing. So this needs to go. No, I, and that's the thing. I think all of us agree here that the deck deserves to be hit. Yeah, definitely. Like deck deserves to be bit hit. It is definitely overstay its welcome. They've. I don't imagine they're going to get any reprints out of it. Um, yeah, logically, this deck needs to be hit. It needs to be brought down a peg. But to call it tier zero is overstating the fact. And yeah, it's it's not that op. It is not. It didn't require a ban list in September to uh, completely deal with it. I just don't agree. I think it needs a ban list. No, that's it. But no, like that's it. I I'm, I agree with you on that point. That's the thing. You're saying it, it needs to get a hit because it's tier zero. No, it needs to get hit because it is stale and bo- it's stale, boring, overdone, and, and the only way to win. No, not no. Yes, did you it make is it the only thing that is winning? <laughs> did you made it a fucking day two, case, you dumb cunt? I made it the day two because I'm meaning Lance here. These people, and so, also so because obviously I majority dodged Orcist. I played two. If your point was more And valid. both of them made top 32. Was, both Orcus players. I, I was play. playing Orcus. I lost the salad. Nothing I could do about it. Yeah, but it's a different same. deck list. No, I nearly the same deck list. And if your point was more valid that you'd have to play Orcus to win, then there wouldn't be anything other than Orcus in top 32. No, no, no. There can be... Outliers, but no, the, no, 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 the no, no, that's what T1 is. No, no, T1, no, 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 T2, no, 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 no. that's what outliers fucking are. It's not, it's not. No, T0 means nothing, saying, else, literally nothing else. You're saying 65%, and then you're like, oh, there's 35%, there's another deck. No, 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 there are 65, there's 35% that is split between seven other decks. Yeah, that makes Orcus a majority because every other deck, so it's it like it, it's 65% versus maximum seven. So it makes it T1. No, it's 65% versus 7%. That's what it is. Not 35, 7. And that's represent... Like, so, so it's T1, Salad T2, Thunder T2. Or 0.5 if you want to start designating decks. T0 is like, undisputed. Undisputed. Did it, did it when take it has all- 19 tops and it wins the event... Yes, it's the best deck. It deserves yes, to be hit. by far, because it's the only way to win. You it's cannot, not, it literally isn't the only way to win. You, did, it, did it win the last YCS? Clearly y- it is. No, did it win the last YCS? Pretty sure it did. Some variant of Orcus has won most YCSs at this point, except for Outliers. But anyway, I think it's a completely arbitrary number and ignores, you know, what T0 is. Like, I... I like, arguably... Um, Spiral was a tier zero format. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. That, like, I mean, it was it was thirty one. That was literally you could not win against Spiral unless you built your deck purely to beat Spiral. Mm. And it was to the point where the only way you could beat Spiral was you play going second Spiral. That was beat to beat Spiral. Yeah. Anyway, deck deserves to be hit, and it probably will be hit, I imagine. And the Sky Striker stuff will go too. Cool. <laughs> um, is that meta talk? Why see us? We're done with that. I fucking hope so. <laughs> yep. I feel like we haven't gotten anywhere because we still definitely disagree here. Yeah, we and we always going to disagree. And also, and that's I'm and a lot of people. Sometimes agree conversations with you. aren't there to be won or lost. Sometimes they're just there to be had. Yeah. And it's no, and you're all massively ignorant of what tears. No, hundred percent. This is not I Pepe. Think, I think you're thinking thirty five percent. No, this, differently than I am. No, this literally isn't Pepe though. It isn't like I I walk like doesn't matter. <laughs> you can't convince me otherwise. I've had this argument for years, like because people try pulling out fucking fake T zero bullshit on what's, heaps of other stuff. What's the next biggest one that topped? Salad with like two. Salad had more than two tops. No, no, also, I'm salad this event. Two. Uh, I think salad had two tops, and that was sort of like that. Isn't there four salad? I thought it was four salad. Yeah, so salad. Also, salad's representation was way low than I thought it was going to be. It was very small. That's because Orcus is the best deck, so everyone was playing that. Uh, That's representation. 
That's why not no, everyone no, playing no, Donovus. No, I reckon if people walk in with like with half, half like if it's half salad, half August, I think that represent like I think the conversion rate of salad goes up. I don't think August is that oppressive over salad. Sure, but I think you could have said the same thing about like and if my take, list or Logan's list. If you take best list into account, obviously excluding outliers where three people were playing it. So two of the high representation salad and August. If you look at the amount of entrance versus the amount of top cut, salad is way higher. I don't the percentage of conversion is way higher. 194 uh, Orcus decks versus 19 tops I don't think you're correct on this no no. Sal was Sal was low Sal was like in the 30s Sal was like in the 60s 60s? yes we checking but yeah I remember and even then the point stands like the amount is tiny 60 out of 100 would be if you do 60 and then divide that by 4 that's less than 19 into 175 or 190 so one ninety in the was in this like seven in the seven hundred. So one. No- it's not one ninety. It's one seventy four, or like one sixty something. Like it's not one ninety, and so, it's nineteen out of one sixty. That's not even close no, to like. So, it's two. It's so it's, one hundred fifty or one hundred seventy, of a seven hundred deck pool. That that's just a normal conversion rate, and if salad is sixty, and if si- salad is sixty in a seven hundred. All right, I got it here. Okay, so we have one hundred and fifty-seven August entrance. So one hundred fifty. Salmon great forty-nine. Okay, fifty. So how many topped? So you have nineteen August. Nineteen. Okay, so we go one fifty-seven divided by nineteen. Ev- one out of every eight August players topped. Yep. What was it two? Salad? Four. Was it four? It was four. You're positive? I said four. Okay. And what was it? 45? 40, 49. 49? One out of every 12.25. That's, that's better. Nope. That's worse. Now, I think you haven't done math right there. I'm pretty sure I have. 49 divided by 4. How many times that means, does 4 go into that means That means that the value of that is better. No, it doesn't. It means 1 out of every 12 salad players that went topped and 1 out of every 8 orcus players topped. 1 in 12 to 1 in 8 is pretty fucking close though. Is it? Yeah. I think when it's 49, it goes to show that most people know that salad is better. Well, not salad. Uh, Sky, Sky Striker August. That is a sign down, of the times. No, if you break it down like that, no, 100% Salad has Salad has more, like, is definitely has a thing to fight here. Sure, it has slightly more than I thought it would, but that's still, like, 50% less. That's not 50. 8 to 12. Yeah, not 50. Half of 8. 4. Twelve. You're saying fifty percent less players, and so no, tw- I'm saying f- its ratio to top is fifty percent worse. <laughs> but the ratio is one and eight, right? For August. For August, and the ratio for salad was one and twelve. Yes, and That's half not- of eight is twelve. That is half of eight is four, and four on eight is twelve. Isn't that a quarter? No, a third. A third sorry. Anyway, what? No, but the, no, the, the the no. August, August is the number, and salad is the other number. You don't get so what? If you do it that way, it makes no sense. How would you ever display that that data? Anyway, what? <laughs> I reckon that conversion rate for salad is not too bad, considering it's meant to be a tier zero format. Because it is. It's 19 tops. When Zoo was at its worst, I think it did 21 tops. No, it did more. It did like 20. Like, it was in the late 20s. I don't think so. I mean, I'd like to see it. But the lowest number I've ever heard was 26. I've... And that was including variants. Yes. 
Anyway, that's enough of this meta. And yes, it is enough. We yeah, hundred percent of it. Yeah, I agree. I want to be able to play something other than Orchest and win. Play salad. I I want to win that. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't Joshua Glenn always win locals? Not always. A fair amount of time, though. Any time that I didn't open Crackdown. So speaking of Orcus, we've got some machine support coming out in a, in a month or two. I don't think it's that good for Orcus, but... No. <laughs> I was more just time than the machines. Uh, Machinist Command, we finally know what the, the monsters do. Machinist Colonel is... Or Machina Colonel, sorry. Oh, I'm so excited for these. They're so good. Level 10, 3,2500. Cannot be normal summon set. Must be special summon by card effect. You can only use this one card's name. Once a first, one or two effects, once per turn. Weak effect, you can target one machine monster you control. Destroy that target and all monsters your opponent controls with equal or less attack. And if a face-up earth machine monster you control, except machine and kernel, is destroyed by battle or card effect, and this card is in your graveyard, you can special summon this card. Oh, it doesn't say in hand. I thought people said this said in hand. No. Oh. So you have to get it to grave first and then hope that you can special it. Also, Earth Machine equals garbage. No, no, no. Because Infinitrack Anchor Jewel. Oh, yeah, Infinitrack. Yeah, I was going to say the Infinitrack stuff is going to come up. Yeah, it's going to be good because Infinitrack Anchor Jewel, or just Infinitrack like, in general. Because they get a rota. Or get a yeah. tricky, sorry. And you just summon it. Which will cover. cover. Anchor Jewel. You just normal summon it and you special any Earth Machine from your hand. Lick them off, it's in grave. There you go. Or use its effect, make some rank 12. What, sins or...? Yeah, you're linking it away, but, I mean, I wouldn't... I mean, as soon as you go around field... Urgent as, schedule, too. As soon as you get out on field the first time, I think you're, you're pretty... You're, you're set. Like, then you can just use the effect to try and clear Is it out. Is that a hard watch per turn, too? Like, could you just have multiple? Nah, it's a hard... You can only use this card's name. So, yeah, it's a hard watch per turn. Okay. Um, if you have an extended with Scrap Recycler, you can get this out as well, turn one. Yeah. Um, that'll be... Yeah. I've read through them all. I don't really rate any of them. Yeah, because then you have to destroy the Scrap Recycler. Oh, then you also have access to a Link 3 after that. So, if you have any other extended, that's Appaloosa and this, and this guy as well, so you can clear off. I really think... This... It reminds me of something that could be meta like in a way where it's like just the summon shit where it's like it's gonna work really well with Infinitrax and Infinitrax just needed somewhere to go yeah. like that's what they, they didn't do anything because they had nowhere to go finally they get like some sort of boss monster and it has its effect is decent uh, so the next one was machine uh, so and they already have a, um, a like a search card as well for, with gear frame and fortress I already rate fortress as well I don't rate it enough for Tom to walk up to me mid YCS and go, dude, you need to play this. The, this other guy's running this. I'm like, I've, I've already been through this. No. <laughs> I'm like, who do you think I am? Like, of course I've tried Machinas. Uh, Machina, Air Raider. I like Machine Dex. You're going to use the... the, the Are you sure? You just said... Oh, we just spent 20 minutes ranting and raving about one of them. Yeah, and I've been playing the other one for three years. Um, you can discard one other machine and monster from your hand, special summon this card from your hand. That's pretty cute. Tricking opponent's turn, quick fate, you can target one machine and monster you control, special summon one machine and monster with a different name and the same with the same or lower level from your deck, and if you do, destroy the target. Um So I mean in your opponent's turn you can make the other And also the destruction effect comes into play for the third card. Yes. Machine or Radiator. You can discard one other machine monster you control. Special, special summon this card from your hand. You can target one machine monster you control. Special summon one machine monster with a different name and equal level or lower from your graveyard. And if you do, destroy the target. So it's the exact same card but the opposite way. Um, I wonder what like their spells and traps are going to have. I wonder if like, they're going to get like a counter trap or something that says if a machine or monster has been destroyed. Probably not. They'll probably get some garbage field spell. Yeah. It, 300 attack oh my, <laughs> when they attack no one can respond oh my god they'll give them a diagram oh they might you could I mean you I could I'd be really happy if they gave them a diagram because then they'd have an excuse to be in the actual diagram could you just run actual diagram you can probably run diagram you have to destroy the card on field though oh. um 
Yeah, so you go scrap recycle diagram would you'll be able to get kernel out. But whether or not whatever well, I don't know what you're doing with the fucking kernel once it's out. But that remains to be seen. Anyway, so that's a machine to deck. I'm kinda keen. It'll be it'll be I'm very keen. It'll be cute enough. I think with a little bit more support and they're getting a whole structure deck worth of it. Well, what would we just be yeah. reprints? I was going to say whole structure deck they're probably getting maybe six relevant cards so with six relevant cards on top of that I think that deck's metal it won't be on top of that it'll be those three and another three I think it's going to still be metal especially urgent schedules already out which is an incredible card I think this is glorified train support yeah actually we haven't talked about the train synergy yet um speaking of heavy forward is um coming in not next set the set after what is it what do we call it? Okay. Uh, heavy forward. It's going to be that. It's that infinite track spell we're just referring to. Eternity code. Ah, oh, right. Yeah, that's right. They get more stuff. Yeah. So they get um they get a tanky that also uh, you can target machine XC monster you control and activate one of the effects. Either change its battle position or attach this card to it as a material. Imagine XZ is becoming relevant again. Like as well as like yeah a tanky. <laughs> a tanky that turns into a material later is pretty damn cute. I reckon. Uh, they also there's a new thunder dragon card coming out. Yeah, I like that. Um, yeah, coming on someone's set, uh, 3,000 attack. Level 9, must first be special summoned from your hand by banishing one level 8 or lower thunder monster from your hand or face up on the field. During the turn, a thunder monster effect was activated, so the usual stuff. Once per turn, during your opponent's turn, quick effect, you banish two cards in the graveyard, including a thunder monster, then target one thunder monster you control. It cannot be targeted by an opponent's card effect for the rest of the turn. Um, yeah. Yeah. And then once per turn, during your end phase, you can send one thunder dragon to the deck from the deck to the graveyard. That's pretty good. The two, like, end phase type effects are pretty good. Yeah. And then, like, being able to, like, in the standby, just, like, prevent your Colossus or your Titan from being targeted for the turn, which makes it a lot harder to disrupt its effect. Yeah. Is Pog. Um, and then to what is probably the main card of this set that I'm sure Lachlan is hella keen on. Yes. I don't think Jake is. Oh. I don't think Jake's keen on this card, do you? It's everything I love in the card. Splash Mage. <laughs> no. <Made it. laughs> no, Mech Knight Orc. Ah! <laughs> I don't want it! Mech Knight Orcist Gearsu. It's a dark machine. Effect on star. 1800 attack, zero defense. <laughs> Uh, this guy's yeah. bullshit. Oh, we, we limited Armageddon Knight and fucking Dark Refer. Oh, it's not fair that Armageddon... It's not fair that Orcus don't have Armageddon Knight. Let's make an in-archetype one because we're fucking stupid and we love dick. If oh, it, so angry. If this card's normal special no, summon... You don't say. You can send one Orcus or World Legacy card from your deck to your graveyard. Also, if there are two other cards in this card's column, it becomes... This card becomes treated as a tuner for the rest of the turn. Konami... Fuck off. If you control no other monsters, you can special summon one world legacy token to each side of the field in defense position. Level one. Oh, wait. If you're under, like, 13, click off the video, like, 10 minutes ago. (laughs) I'm pretty sure they don't have a problem with swearing. They only have a problem with, um, you know, us selling you sweet merch. Our merch is coming soon. And by soon, I mean, a couple months. Let us know. So, um, so, yeah, like, you can bait Imperm. Bait imperm. The, like the problem with it is that it takes up the normal summon. Yeah. The good thing is, it's a really good normal summon. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's. Those are both bad things. So, why do they get another good normal summon? So another. When we read this card another. on Friday, on during Friday, I, oh, I mean, all of us all had the opinion that yeah, Orcus are getting are getting shafted. Uh, seeing this. That there's no I doubt. I don't think so. So all I can assume is that they're gonna in the ban list do Armageddon Knight and Graffa. Yeah, hit those two, which means that you're no longer playing Rhoda. What do you know? We now have three spaces in the deck for monsters. Um, I imagine they, I, I think they could probably they, they probably will send the Sky Striker shit to hell, and then yeah, that engine's kind of like. I can I can see them then putting this in um, the the special edition. And yeah, move them early, get them out of the way. Everyone buys their special editions. <laughs> so this, I, I kind of want it to be in the special edition so that we get it earlier, but I also don't want it to be because I want it to be high rarity. I want it to be pretty because yeah. the artwork's really nice. 
battle. But leaving this to April, uh, I mean, sorry, leaving this to May, like, there's no way they can leave Walkers to May. I, I don't like. Guess it needs hits, but the hits that some people are suggesting, such as our dear colleague at the table, where they just fucking gut the deck, yes. and everything to zero, like what is happened to Pepe, ridiculous. The second time. I think what we deserve is the first Pepe hit. I Peter one. <laughs> no. But that's the thing, like, for ages we've been dealing with Sky Striker. Literally ages. Like, was... Yeah, and Sky Striker's about to get its hit too. Yeah, they're... they're... You say this. It's we've about said to, this it's for about the to last die. six ban lists that they're about to have their time. Drones it has not happened. Leave. It's no longer splashable and it's not... And no one plays it pure anymore. Once Drones is gone, it's not splashable. Problem solved. One pure Sky Striker top. I still reckon Engage... It's not good enough, though. So even without drones, I still reckon there's something to be said of using Engage in Orcus to get your anchor and get uh, the, 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 the... Yeah. That's yes, just because Orcus do it so well. So get rid of Orcus. Into the Void, Allure of Darkness, <laughs> Orchestrated Return, and then you've got three spells in Grave, so you get a search for a busted quick play spell Man, and that's Sky Striker's fault not Orcus's fault <gasps> for drawing a million times my biggest misplay get of rid ICS of them. that I completely forgot about and like it was just in the moment so they ash my I have two engages in hand they ash my engage I'm like dickheads you and, then, summoned. and then I realised that I had call play <laughs> I could have <laughs> and that would have been another spell <laughs> <laughs> and yeah there's like yeah look also my finest hour. I think I won that match though. Yeah, it, look, misplays are fine when you win the match because my biggest misplay of the thing was I went to use IP effect with Galatea to go for Zero Boris and I just sort of grabbed a card out of the extra deck assuming that was it. Went to check Graveyard to see what interactions I had, looked back and there was a Triz Bane on field. And I was like, the fuck are you the doing there? How the fuck did you do that? I grabbed the wrong, Bro, I grabbed the the wrong card out. I obviously just saw Topologic and it's like, yeah, you're the right one. Whack. Check over here. Too late to fix it. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but the problem he had then is that, like, I was just going to um, banish the field spell as soon as he played it. And I used Harp. I'm um, not in a Harp. Nightmare on it before. So I was on 33. And he went to tack into it with a 26 Dingrizu. Like, it protected itself anyway. But it then meant that I had my monsters on board for me to do things. So yeah, misplays are fine, provided your opponent also misplays, or that you win anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm so not sure. back to I'm not sure what we Dingu. Burn it. I'm focusing more on the mech side. <laughs> yeah. Because it's really good for mech knight. It's a well, technically it's three card because you need two cards in the column, which I only just realised. I thought it was only. Wait, when it says two or more cards in the column, does it count itself? Well, surely it counts itself, right? Yeah. Yeah. Should do. If there's, oh, 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 does it say two other? Yeah, that's uh, what I mean. Da, 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 da. Um, if there are two or more cards, oh, oh, it does say other cards. Other cards, damn. Yeah, okay. So, you need going a second, it's still fine. Because... Well, going first, you just got to have a spell or trap. Yeah, exactly. Which is fine. Jesus. Big Jesus. Okay. And then maybe I can play the World Legacy card that Mech Knights have, but no one plays. Yeah. No, nope, not doing that? No. <laughs> well, I assume there's going to be some Orca stuff left as well that you can just tech in this to get this out. I did briefly theorise when I was at um, YCS of, like, you smoke screen between. So, like, your main is just going first Orca standard plays that they're doing now. And then you smoke screen into Mac Knights when your opponent wants to make you go second. Oh my god. That would I wanna spit in the face of whoever thought this was a good card. <laughs> <laughs> and that and this card should have come out last <laughs> this card should come out last This set. card shouldn't come out. If this means we have August until May, and then afterward is this May? Or am I? Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, this comes out May. I'm this gonna set. kill myself. That's that's what I'm saying. This card this should This isn't even an overreaction. This card should have come out last set. Well, no, it would have been it would have been even by your standards tier zero. Yes, guys. Yeah. Your right. hefty, hefty, very large standards. So what else is large? 
My bad. Anyway. <laughs> Last but not least, Ignition Assault. Two weeks to the sneak peek. Yeah. Uh, we know the rarities of a few cards, kind of-ish, if I look at these enough. So that new Lightning Storm... Broken. Is... You can't, have, five, you can't have Feather Duster. You can have this one that's just as good. <laughs> I mean, I guess you don't have, you're not allowed to control monsters, so... No, you're not allowed to control face-up cards. So you can set a monster. So it's broken in some Activate areas. it, and then just... <laughs> oh, my God. And flip some of the monsters you just set. Um, and then Link Reaper looks to be Ultra? Maybe? Uh, yeah, Lingariba is Ultra. Uh, and then the new Gizmec as well is Secret. Is this and. The, hmm? Is this the one that. Um, Adding this is, yeah. And when does this come out? This comes out. Alright, the, the sneak, sneak peeks in two weeks. Two weeks. I'm so poor! <laughs> <laughs> oh well. Um, I think that's it. That's it. Yeah. Uh, we'll be back in a. Hopefully. Tomorrow or the next day with the ban list. Oh, the ban list, yeah. I was um, like, why are we doing this again tomorrow? We'll, you know what? I, should we make predictions on when the ban list is going to come out? <laughs> I'm going to say Thursday. I'm going to say Saturday morning. Or like Friday midnight. So like our Saturday morning, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. So they'll be there Friday. That makes sense. And then I'm going to say that they're going to say, remember that time that they released a ban list and they were like, this is effective since yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> I think they're going to do the same thing again. I think they're going to, they're going to drop it on a Saturday and they're going to be like, this is effective from Friday. <laughs> and we're going to, anyone who played Yu-Gi-Oh on Friday, banned. Uh, <laughs> not even the cards that were banned, just if you played Yu-Gi-Oh on Friday. Well, if you played Orcus. Because Friday's for magic. <laughs> Friday's definitely not for magic. Yeah. the magic show my pants <laughs> <laughs> on that note thank you for uh, few, the few people that came up and talked to us at YCS it was good to see you it was good to get a it was incredible it was to see you it was good to get a deck profile actually Paul's deck profile will be up tonight tomorrow no I'll probably do it tomorrow the podcast goes up yeah tonight. we're supposed to have like three videos up today it just feels kind of weird I like overrun it it doesn't like it gives we've still, still got the combo video to go to my god there's so much content coming to the YouTube channel go there subscribe to it please yeah and subscribe on Spotify if you aren't already. Yeah. iTunes. Google iTunes. Plus. Right, as well as um, give us a rating on iTunes as well. Uh, preferably a favorable GFCs. rating. <laughs> um, yeah. Like, the, the favorable rating turns out that is actually worth a lot. I don't think Spotify has a rating. I don't really, like if it does, I haven't Dig. rated I haven't rated any podcasts in Spotify. But um yeah, if especially if you're using iTunes. Hey, we do have like I mean Pandora. Our RSS feeds based on Bob I'm pretty sure. Isn't Pandora dead? <laughs> Tumblr? Mm, maybe not Tumblr. Anyway, <laughs> on that note, <laughs> thank you very much. Ciao. My face.